Hello everyone and welcome to a safe space. Today I have a very, very, very important message to share with you today. And that is why I believe that everyone is meant to share their gifts with the world. Humans are meant to create. Creative energy must be played with, released, and manifested. This idea that humans are meant to create is something that's always resonated with me. But it wasn't until I read the book Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert that it was explained in a way that made so much sense. In this book, she explains that throughout human history, in the past versus the times that we are in now, humans had to create everything in their lives. Humans had to constantly be creating and moving. They had to create their food. They had to create their shelter, their medicine, their entertainment, literally everything versus now where everything is already readily made for us and more. We're constantly consuming rather than creating. But that creative energy within us is so necessary to dance with and to play with and to allow those ideas to be sprouted into this physical reality because that creative energy is life force energy. And when we don't allow ourselves to access it and utilize it, we may feel that our energy becomes very stagnant or low in density, or we may feel out of touch with who we really are as a person, out of touch with our authentic self, or we may feel a sense of unfulfillment. We may not really understand why we feel that sense of unfulfillment, but we know that something is missing in our lives. And that is because we're simply not meant to only consume and never create. There's an endless amount of things that are fighting for our attention that we can choose to consume, but nothing really brings you closer to yourself than when you create. And not only when you create, but you allow yourself, you give yourself permission to share those creations with the world. If you have these limiting beliefs that you're not worthy or your creations are not worthy, realize that every single thing that exists in your reality was once just a thought in someone's mind. That is such a profound thing to grasp. Every single thing that you can see in front of you, that you can touch, that you can experience, was once just a thought in someone's mind that they had to manifest into this reality. The chair you're sitting in right now, the computer or the phone that you're using to view this, the clothes that you're wearing, the roof that you're sitting under, the electricity that is being used to power your home. Every single one of those things were once just an idea in someone's mind and very likely ideas that they never thought that they could actually pursue in this life or ideas that people criticized. Think about all the various things that exist in this world. There was more than enough space for all of those people's creations to come to life because they chose to share those creations with the world despite the fears that they had or despite the opinions of others. So for one, realize that you as a human being are meant to create. And two, realize that you are so powerful. Human beings are so powerful. The fact that our intentions can become manifestations with enough energy and persistence. If there's something that you've created or you've desired to create, but you haven't shared with the world out of fear or out of thinking that it's already been done before, realize that everyone's unique creation is needed in this world. Everyone's unique experience of life and unique energy and unique intention combined is going to create something that hasn't been done before or at least hasn't been done by you as an individual. There's this idea in the book that I was talking about earlier, the book called Big Magic. That's so fascinating, okay? It's this idea that ideas are entities looking for a creator to manifest them into this physical reality. And they will bounce from one person to another if that person does not act on the idea. That may seem crazy, right? But after reading this book, I was actually pretty convinced of this idea because thought forms are energy. So if someone doesn't utilize that energy, it can kind of bounce onto another person. She shares this very fascinating story in the book of a time that she had an idea for a book, a very specific idea for a book that she told no one about, that she had actually begun writing for a period of time. There were many specific details to this story and a very specific plot that hadn't been done before and that she had not shared with anyone. But at some point she gave up on this idea. And one day she became friends with this other writer. They became pen pals, so they started writing each other all the time. One day her friend shares with her that she's working on a book that she's so excited about. And she's actually almost completed, I think, and she's about to release. So Elizabeth, the author of the book, asks her, what is the story about? 
And when the lady responds, it is the exact same story to a T, to the very specific plot, to the very specific details, to the types of characters. It's the same exact plot and story that Elizabeth once had, but she decided not to pursue and she did not share that idea with anyone. And it was in that moment that she really started to develop the belief that ideas have a consciousness and they are consciously looking for a creator to manifest them. The reason I wanted to share with you that story is because I feel like it's really inspiring for anyone who has an idea that they're scared to act upon. But if an idea finds you and you are lucky enough to be the creator of that idea, you creating and releasing that idea into the world is going to be a unique experience because it's coming from you. For me personally, engaging in creativity is necessary for my happiness. I really have to allow myself that time to be creative in whatever ways that my soul yearns to. When I'm not creating, my life feels a lot more unfulfilling, it feels a lot less purpose-filled, and my energy feels very stagnant and low, and I feel out of touch with myself. Dancing with creativity makes me feel in touch with my soul and with the divine. So my question for you today is, what is stopping you? Is it fear? Is it lack of time? Is it limiting beliefs? And is it really worth living life on the side of what ifs? What if people judge me? What if people say this about me? What if it's not good enough? What if I feel embarrassed? In my opinion, the what if is far worse than not receiving validation from people because the act of creating itself is fulfilling with or without validation. If you don't share those gifts that you have with the world, You'll never know if something you created could have inspired another person or it could have touched someone on another level or you'll never know if that creation could have brought someone joy or brought you more fulfillment and purpose in your life. And if your creation doesn't receive any validation for whatever reason, then you move on to the next creation because the act of creating is fulfilling itself. I had to repeat that again. You still brought more joy into your life you still released your creative energy. You still got more in touch with your authentic self and listened to your intuition and did something that inspired you and made you happy. So what is stopping you from creating or what is stopping you from releasing that creation into the world and how can you work through that fear? How can you question that limiting belief? How can you prove that limiting belief to be wrong? If there's anything that you've created that you desire to share with others, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I would love to see your art. I would love to see your content. I would love to see your passions, whatever products you're selling, whatever you wanna share with the world, I would love to see it. So we can all become inspired from one another and support each other. And also if this video resonated with you, it would mean the absolute world to me if you gave it a like because that really helps support me in the YouTube algorithm. And if you would like to have a safe space to come back to every week, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here. But other than that, I really hope that I see you in my next video. Blessings to you all, and may you all become the conscious creators of your life this year.